The Vegas Golden Knights. Am I right? Uh, Five seed? No. Oh, you bastard. All right. Fourth in the Pacific last year, 43-31-8 record, 94 points. Ninth in the West, 17th in the league. Head coach is now Bruce Cassidy, who replaced Peter DeBoer. Uh, they lost Matthias Yanmark to the Oilers, and they signed Riley Smith to a re-signed three-year deal contract. Brett Howden re-signed a one-year contract. Phil Kessel coming over for one year from the Coyotes. Huge. Keegan Colasar, not huge anymore, actually. He's down to his lowest weight of all time. <laughs> I think he's clocking in at 207. He looked great the other day. Talking about his assist, but yep, go on. <laughs> Keegan Colasar re-signed a three-year deal, and Nicholas Waugh re-signed a five-year contract. Uh, notable UFA is Nicholas Hague, or Hagee, sorry. Hague. Four goals, ten assists. Mm-hmm. Um, let me, can I do the trade? Yeah, you're on set? trade duty. Yeah, I'm get, fucking running out of breath over so here. Yeah, water. <laughs> I have a side note for trades here. So the last trade they made before the off season was actually on November, all the way back on November 4th in 2021. So they didn't do anything for uh, the trade deadline because they didn't need to, baby. Let's go, <laughs> Vegas, buddy. Golden Knights, right behind you. Look at that. Look at that Knights jersey right behind you. Um, and that that trade was actually the big Jack Eichel trade that happened. So, uh, with the first trade that's happened in a while, um, the Golden Knights traded Evgeny Dadanov to the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for Shea Weber. The Can- uh, sorry, the Golden Knights traded Max Pacioretty and Dylan Coughlin to the Carolina Hurricanes in exchange for future considerations. That guy, yet again, bouncing all around. Lastly, the Golden Knights traded their 2024 fourth-round pick to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for goalie Aiden Hill. So, uh, some moves here for the Golden Knights. Um, I think Bruce Cassidy is going to be the first thing I bring up here, and I think he's going to turn this uh, Vegas Golden Knights just like Bruce Boudreau around. I don't think that he has anything under his belt. Well, I shouldn't say that. Anything in his pocket to get that job done. He has he has the tools, you know. Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, he has a toolbox but no tools. You know what I mean? It's yeah. under his belt. He can get it done. I don't know if he has the guys to get it done here now. Mm-hmm. And I think the short leash that this organization gives their coaches, kind of a red flag to me. I think they brought him in. They want him to turn it around. They don't give him any opportunity, any really good players, in a sense, to Mm -hmm. make this all happen. And they'll, you know, gas him the second that they can and be like, this is your fault that the organization didn't turn around. I believe it. You know what I mean? It's Mm -hmm. just That just seems like the Vegas special nowadays. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get a full season of Jack Geichel, finally, after that uh... Uh, artificial disc replacement surgery that he had. He only played 34 games last season. Is he enough, though? Well, he's going to be a big pickup here. And then Phil Kessel, he led the he led the team for, I mean, not saying really much, but he led the team for the Arizona Coyotes in assists. So big playmaker Phil Kessel is. Yeah, but his goal production dropped off big time. Mm-hmm. Only eight goals last season from yeah. Kessel. Maybe it might be different. I think so. I, I think Kessel will have a bounce back year for sure. Yeah. I think he's definitely a guarantee. Mm-hmm. Jack Eichel has missed quite a bit of time. Uh, new organization, you know, he's still getting used to everything. I think. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not banking on him. I mean, even with the Sabers, I think his career high was 36 goals. Mm-hmm. Um, Marsh is still there. Stone's there. Mm-hmm. Riley Smith is on your first line. That's a little weird to me. Right. I mean, but William Stone's, William Carlson's good. Stone's finally going to be back. Yeah. Uh, was plagued with injuries last season. Was placed on LTIR. Had nine goals and 21 assists in only 37 games played. So another Mark Stone. Santhern and Jack Eichel getting a full season out of these guys. You're you know? starting to sell me on this. Yeah. But... John Moshenso, Carlson, Riley Smith. Yeah. How are we looking, bud? I mean, Blue Line's actually looking pretty good, too. Petrangelo and Martinez are your top pair. That's definitely good. Shea Theodore, Brady McNabb. Mm. I'm not I'm not questioning either of those. But then I get to the net. Logan Thompson, Lauren Passois. <laughs> is that is – that... Is that uh... – That wasn't – going into my breakdown of this team, that wasn't my target. I wasn't looking at the net for this team. But now I was, you are. I was looking at the back off. Yeah, because I think you've really, I don't know, you, you've shown me that I think they're pretty good on the on the front and the back. Yep. The back office and the, well, I wouldn't say the coach. The back offense isn't yeah. great. The goaltending uh, isn't great. And uh, what's between the pipes? Now yeah. Robin Leonard's not playing. They yeah. Need, they need something. <clears throat> yeah, wh- why off. isn't Leonard, Leonard playing? Do we know? Uh, hip injury or hip, hip injury. surgery, I think he's going to have. Yeah. So he's going to be out for the entire season. And then, yeah, again, <clears throat> I think Laurent Brassois is going to take that starting position, and then Logan Thompson is going to be back his backup. But just like just like the whole um, – we're talking about the Seattle Kraken, or is it the uh, – no, we're talking about the San Jose Sharks with James Reimer. Uh, that's going to be a uh, backup tandem right there, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Um yeah, <laughs> I 
I want this team to dis- like to upset me because I have them in the sixth seed mm-hmm. because they barely missed the playoffs last year, and it was kind of like a last game decision for them to be out. Mm-hmm. But then after all the bullshit that's gone around with the media, all the stuff, Max Pacioretty going away for shit, like there's a lot of reasons that I want this team to start to fail. Because if you maintain that middle ground of four or five seed, missing playoffs, in the playoffs, first round exit, like you're going to be sucked into the, the state – of the major sports leagues where you're not good. So you're never winning and you're not bad and you're never getting picks. Mm-hmm. So they kind of need to start to go downhill, I think in order to get better, but they have that. That sounds really dumb to say, honestly, but mm-hmm. that's it. I'm just, I'm just putting it at that. That's it. The okay. six, six seed. I think I, I really boosted them up. Cause you're going to find like, again, we're, we're just talking about guys uh, I can't remember the team we were just talking about, but we were just talking about teams that just like are plagued with injuries here. And this is the Vegas Golden Knights. Alec Martinez was out with a facial injury and only played 26 games last season. Uh, yeah, last season. So he's going to be back in full swing as a defenseman. Shea Th- Theodore, unbelievable. Career high stats, 14 goals, which is seventh amongst defensemen and 38 assists. Uh, dude, Shea Weber on the team now. Um, Expected to miss the entire season. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was reading that. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And then, uh, I, I, I mean, it's, it just doesn't matter, you know? Like, these guys are just, just coming back. Again, Jack Eichel, Mark Stone coming back full swing. I think the front – I think forwards, defense, good to go for the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. And the only question I have with the Vegas Golden Knights is uh, between the pipes there. And that's going to be uh, the takeaway with this team. Where are you putting them? I have them in third. That's pretty solid. Yeah. So I, I was when I was doing this, I was looking at last season, and I had to pick up or down for them. And I'm just disappointed with the back office, honestly. And I just let that let them fall in where they fell because mm-hmm. I'm just I'm fed up with it. <laughs> so enjoy the six seed. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't get anything else for you. No expert analysis here. Get fucked. <laughs> you like that? I don't know. I should have uh, told you to uh, place a yeah, bet on them. Well, you're in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, but that was when Leonard – I did, didn't I? I think I picked them. Oh, you did they pick one them? Of, yeah, I think they are. I think they're mm-hmm. one of my Stanley Cup champions. And it was before Leonard was out, and then that news came out that he'd be missing the start of the season. I was like, well, oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs>